Hello, Kryptonians. Are you here because you got stuck on a quiz question? Or maybe you're just curious. One thing's for sure. We all want to get rich with blockchain, but studying feels like a hassle. However, if you want to outpace your friends and get richer, listen carefully to what I'm about to say and remember it well. The more you know, the better your chances of success. Fortunately, I'm here to show you how. Today, we're going to dive into the core concepts and workings of blockchain. It's a technology that's catching attention across various industries these days, and we're about to find out why. Let's start with the definition of blockchain. Blockchain is a decentralized digital ledger that records and manages data securely without a central server. Since data is distributed across multiple computers or nodes, there's no need for a single server or centralized administrator. This enables blockchain to build a system based on trust. For example, even if one node is compromised, the other nodes maintain the data, ensuring the system operates securely. So, why is blockchain data considered immutable? This is closely related to its structure. Blockchain stores data in units called blocks, and each block contains an encrypted hash value of the previous block. Because these blocks are linked like a chain, modifying a single block would require altering all subsequent blocks. Additionally, since all nodes in the network share the data, such modifications are virtually impossible. The main advantages of blockchain are transparency and security. All transaction records are publicly accessible, ensuring transparency and encryption guarantees data safety. Moreover, blockchain improves efficiency by eliminating intermediaries, reducing both costs and time. However, there's a common misconception that blockchain is slow. This isn't due to manual verification, but rather the need for a process called a consensus mechanism. Consensus mechanisms ensure that all participants in the network verify and agree on the validity of transactions, thereby maintaining reliable data. Finally, let's talk about one type of blockchain, public blockchain. Public blockchains are open systems where anyone can participate, characterized by decentralization and transparency. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are prime examples. In these systems, all users can access the data and validate transactions. In contrast, private blockchains restrict access to specific users. The type of blockchain depends on its intended use. Today, we've explored the basics of blockchain, its functionality, and its advantages and types. Blockchain is more than just a technological innovation. It fundamentally changes how we handle data. It's exciting to think about how blockchain's development will continue to impact our daily lives and industries. I hope today's lecture helped broaden your understanding of blockchain. I'll be back with more exciting topics next time. Thank you.